Turn to other news tonight. A baby refused medical treatment because of the parent's sexual orientation. It's legal in Michigan and many other states, but there's a new campaign shining light on the lack of protections for LGBTQ couples. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmerini is live with a local couple featured in the campaign. Brianne. Well, Glenda, that new campaign, it's called Beyond I Do. It was launched by the Ad Council. It went live today. That local couple from Oak Park shares their story about when they brought their newborn, six-year-old newborn baby to a pediatrician and they were refused care. This is Krista and Jamie Contreras. They're now parents of two, but back when they had their first baby three years ago, they took the newborn to a local pediatrician and they were denied care. Is our doctor coming today? And she said, no, actually, I'm going to be your doctor. Um, your doctor had prayed on it and decided that she can't see you today. The couple was floored. They had personally experienced discrimination in the past for their sexual orientation, but they never thought it would directly carry over to their newborn in this way. And the tricky part of it, it's perfectly legal for a doctor to do so in Michigan. According to the Beyond I Do campaign, there are at least 31 states that don't protect people like the Contreras when it comes to employment, housing, and public accommodations like a doctor's visit or even dining at a restaurant. But we would talk to other people and we would share our story and they would tell us, well, that can't be legal. They can't do that. And we looked into it no, and we'd have to inform them, no, it is legal. Now they're sharing their story for the new ad campaign. They want others here in Michigan and nationwide to know what they went through and possibly feel a little empathy. It was, you know, horrifying and humiliating and we just kept thinking like, Man, she's six days old and she's already experiencing discrimination. And that couple will continue to share their story tomorrow right here on Channel 7 on Good Morning America. For now, live, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News.